I'm Bob Hallmark in Longview this morning. As the holidays approach, uh, one thing is very evident every holiday season. There are always those in need, those who need help uh, with everything from bills all the way down to enough food for the holidays. And that's what brings me out here to the uh, UT Tyler Longview campus today. And this is the Tyler Academy, and we're joined now by Jamie Hicks. Hi. And uh, Jamie, uh, we have something kind of interesting going on right over your shoulder right there. Yes. What are we doing today? Um, today, this is my eighth grade leadership class. Um, they are not the ones solely responsible, but they're one of our workhorses today, loading this um, van behind me with all of the food that was collected by our school. We're a K through 12th grade campus. And so as, as a campus, we raised close to 5,000 items, not quite, but close to 5,000 items to donate to the Mod Cobb Thanksgiving um, food drive. And so with that, we try to instill our kids that this is our opportunity to reach out to our community. We're super, super tiny, but we can make a great impact. Um, and we also offer our families uh, the opportunity to go volunteer next week to help distribute and pack the boxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so, There's some curious kids coming up yes. behind us right now. Uh, now, one of the things, I know that you guys have done this for a number of years out yes, here. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and what it instills in the kids is uh, a sense uh, of, of, of civic participation. Yes. Uh, they realize that there are folks out there uh, that are always going to be in need during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. What's the important part that they get out of this by your perspective? Um, the important part in, in twofold. One is to be thankful for what they have. And that's what we focus on this week is just being thankful for what we have and what we're gifted for the clothes on our back, the food that we eat, um, and then to give back to our community to help others. And so that is a great opportunity to be a servant leader and to be able to help our community and help those in need. Uh, now, I know that they put a lot of uh, energy and enthusiasm into what they've done here. This was a process over, uh, I guess, uh, about a month or so period. Yes, we started really close to the beginning of November. Okay. Uh, now, was there a goal that you wanted to achieve at this point? We were hoping to get 5,000 uh, food items. We usually end up a really high 4,000, and mm -hmm. so we, again, really high 4,000. Okay. Uh, and obviously, this is going to go to, you know, a very good cause here because mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, everybody that is in need during the holiday season looks forward to things like this. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a sense here for the kids uh, that they might be looking at this as, maybe there's a way in the future that I can continue to do this and continue to help my community. That's an important lesson too. That is an important lesson. Um, with this particular group that's working today, this is my leadership class. And so in that, we're working hard to be servant leaders and find out where we can serve our community best, not just here at school, but then when they get out of school to find places that they can be um, useful um, and helpful in the community. Okay. Uh, the destination of the, this food right here, obviously, is going to be Mod Cobb, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the date of that is, but I believe uh, the distribution date is... Uh, Tuesday, whatever day that is. It is. Tuesday, okay. Yes. Monday's right. a packing day. All right, and as I speak, it looks like the kids are done. They've actually loaded the trailer now. Fabulous. Uh, so uh, a lot, a lot of uh, food that is going to be destined for those who absolutely need it. And you have to be pretty proud of your kids. At this I point. am super proud of, this, of these kids, of the school, and all they do. They have really big hearts. All right, thank you so much. All right, thank you that. so much. All right, and we'll have much more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.